What's happening guys, it's your boy TC back with another video. So this is just a quick match review for the game that took place yesterday. And that was the West Ham game. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to put out a video yesterday. I was a bit preoccupied, I should say. Uh, but we'll just run through the match preview very, very quickly. So of course, we'll start off with the start, starting 11, I should say. Uh, on the day in goal, we had Ospina, who had a brilliant game, I should say. Uh, at right back, we had Hector Bellerin in the middle of defence. We had Mustafi, Koscielny, as well as Natural Monreal playing off of the left back position in the middle of the uh, of the park itself we did have El Nenny and Shaka who had a brilliant game Shaka did in my opinion uh, as part of the three up front we did have wall back Ramsey and Iwobi and up top as the lone striker was Lacazette who had an absolutely blinding game he played absolutely brilliantly so of course as you all know the final score was 4-1 and uh, of course uh, the half time the game came to half time and it was still nil nil we hadn't actually scored a goal however we did threaten massively and I do believe Danny Wolbeck had a few chances which he could have put away one in particular was a curling shot which ended up being saved by Joe Hart uh, but of course we did have a number of chances within the first half itself and I do think Shaka had a brilliant brilliant first half his passing was very very accurate it was pinpoint I think overall he had a 92% pass accuracy um, throughout the whole game so that's absolutely evident in terms of actually um the fact that he had a brilliant, brilliant game yesterday against West Ham. And uh, at the back, I did have a few queries or a few questions really in particular for Mustafi. He did have a nightmare uh, on a couple of occasions with Arnautovic, uh, who obviously ended up getting West Ham's goal. But overall, um, Mustafi's game was a bit so-so. I wasn't too convinced. Uh, the boys on the right-hand side, Iwobi and Bellerin, of course, had a very quiet game in my opinion. Didn't feature heavily. Uh, of course, they were helping going forward, but I believe the game changed when Aubameyang came on. So let's just talk about the goals. Of course, the first goal was scored by Nacho Monreal from a corner brilliant brilliant finish he's back amongst the goals he did go on a run of about three games scoring goals earlier on in the season so that was absolutely fantastic it was great to see him back on the score sheet and I believe he had a brilliant game as well Nacho Monreal was getting up further forward as much as he could uh, trying to help out the left-handed side players in particular Danny Welbeck and any other forward players that he would have been in his vicinity playing good link-up play uh, little one-twos and obviously expecting the ball back within his possession so I believe Nacho Monreal had a fantastic game in my opinion uh, the second goal was obviously scored by Ramsey and um, that was really really unfortunate in terms of how the goal went in for West Ham and uh, Declan Rice um, he had actually um, before that he'd actually just cleared the ball away and you could see him trying to organize the defense and I believe um, he may have had a shout from one of his other teammates to leave the ball or maybe he may have misheard what Joe Hart had said and you can see from the replay itself when Joe Hart comes into shot you can see him saying I said away obviously Daklin Rice is a very very young defender just made his debut recently really for the Republic of Ireland so it was a miscommunication and obviously the ball ended up just floating into the back of the net Ramsey got a goal everyone was absolutely happy so we move on on to uh, Lacazette's goals first goal was set up by uh, Aubameyang as I said when Aubameyang came on the game changed of course he was being deployed from the left hand side but you could see he was sort of being drawn in the era to Lacazette and uh, at that point when the first goal went in by Lacazette they were both located on the right hand side of the pitch found his striking partner and his striking partner finished it the angle was absolutely tight he looked a little bit hesitant when he actually pulled the trigger eventually but the ball found itself in the back of the net for a deflection and Joe Hart had no chance at that point and the ball found itself in the back of the net second goal again fantastic fantastic footballing brain by Lacazette took a touch in the box and he literally just swung at it with his right foot and it found itself in the back of the net. So he's actually got six goals in six games now and he's been absolutely phenomenal since he came back from his injury. This is the right time, I do believe, for him to pick up form. Of course, we um, we can't play Aubameyang in the Europa League, but we do have Atletico Madrid coming up and I believe... This win will do the, uh, the team a world of confidence, really will boost the team's confidence moving forward into Thursday's game. Wenger didn't seem to rest a number of players. Of course, Ramsey is a key first team player, as well as Lacazette. Uh, Welbeck has been featuring heavily in the Europa League. They all started, so I do believe he's trying to 
put through or inject some confidence within his players and his team. And uh, again, fantastic, fantastic performance from the team. It was a seven minutes of magic um, at that point, but we were sitting at 1-1 before we ended up scoring those three late goals. But El Nenny ended up picking up an injury, so that's one bit of team news that I can certainly bring to you. El Nenny picked up an injury, so we don't know when he's going to be available as yet. It's most likely that he's going to miss the rest of the season. But overall, fantastic, fantastic result from the team. As usual, guys, please do let me know what you think in the comments below. If you are watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. So once again, guys, it's your boy TC from I'm Gonna Talk TV, and I'm out.